late spring before it gets to summer. Shad spawn, herring spawn, anywhere you're at in the southeast, it's going to be a prime time to look for that transition when the fish start to come off the bed, but they haven't quite made it to their summertime places. Look for spawning bait. That's where you're going to find most of these fish. A couple of key baits that I like to throw for them. Anytime that they're around bait, spawning, top water is always a great selection. This right here is a walking bait that's got kind of a loud knocker to it. I use that a lot of times on a dark day like today, a windy day. But if it's a real calm, slick situation, I might switch to like a popping style bait or a Sammy style walking bait, which is a little bit quieter. Um, there's some other ones too that work really good that aren't quite as loud. It gets you some more strikes. But if I'm in a situation where I'm around grass and there's bait fish spawning around grass, a plopper style bait, a buzz bait can work really good also. So any type of top water is always a good selection when you're around spawning bait. Um, if you're around places that have bigger bait fish, like Herring Lakes or some of the other lakes, uh, Tennessee River, uh, even some of your Florida lakes that have really big bait, big gizzard shad and other types of shad, hard swim baits can work really, really well. Um, it's something you can move quick. And from this time of year on into the throughout the summer, most of the time I prefer a hard swim bait, something I can move pretty quick. Unless I'm in a situation that has a lot of heavy vegetation, then I may use a uh, bigger soft swim bait, hollow belly style swim bait, something like that. But this one right here is actually one of the original prototypes of uh, swim bait that I want to come out with. Uh, Mag Spot is what I uh, named it. This one right here is a beater. This one right here has been tested since day one. Um, whenever the bait goes into production, when I get time to get it right and really move forward with that, It'll look a lot different than this, but the same general shape, profile, action will be the same. Um, really trying to create something that looks just like a herring. And, but bottom line, there's a variety of hard swim baits that work really well. Always a great selection. You often hear the term match the hatch, right? Something that's kind of overused in fishing, but it's definitely the truth. Match your baits, especially my third selection here, a spinner bait match the blade size to the bait fish that you're seeing, it makes a huge difference, guys. In most situations, there are hundreds or thousands of bait fish in the area, so the fish get really, really keyed in on a specific size. They don't need to come bite something that really sticks out or is really uh, you know, different than the rest of the group. In this type of situation, match your blade size, match your general bait size to the baits that you're seeing, the actual spawning bait fish in the water makes a huge difference. You're gonna catch more fish that way. Um, now, the spinner bait, awesome selection. I like to keep stuff kind of white, shad, you know, so those general colors, unless I'm in a real dirty water situation that I may throw something with a gold blade or a little bit of chartreuse and white, something like that. General, generally speaking, keep your bait selection pretty small. You need to be staying on the move more than anything. Um, but talking about swim baits just a second ago kind of going back to this i don't use a soft swim bait as much but it is a great follow-up tool if you're working through an area maybe it gets the sun gets up or the uh you know the bite kind of calms down a little bit it's a great follow-up uh, bait that will put some fish in the boat for you it's also a really good selection if i'm around an area that's got really small spawning bait fish like little thread fins things like that um a couple more things about the shad spawn or herring spawn. The general temperature that I'm seeing most of them spawning, I'm, like, I'm here on Lake Lanier, and you'll find this to be the common temperature on a lot of the lakes that are similar to this in, in North Alabama, North Georgia, the Carolinas, Tennessee, that mid 60s, mid upper 60s, low to mid 70s, that range specifically, when it starts to get around 70 and stay there, that is when, in my opinion, it's typically the best. Um, now a herring in its natural environment, which is the ocean, they migrate into freshwater rivers, they can start spawning in the mid to upper 50s. So uh, don't think every year is the same. You will see different scenarios take place different years due to the amount of water coming into a system, the water level, water clarity, the temperature, the weather, all that stuff has a huge factor, moon phase as well fish will spawn on a wide, wide range of different targets. There is no one place that, you, that you've got to be. They'll spawn on wood, rocks, clay, sand, blow-throughs, docks, concrete, seawalls, 
They'll spawn on grass, pads, you name it. They will spawn anywhere there's some type of object or hard surface they can rub up against. Doesn't matter. Keep your eyes peeled. Number one tip of all, listen up. Number one tip, period. Look for birds no matter where you're at, fishing around spawning bait fish. That's the place to be every single time. So hopefully these tips will help you. Stay on the move when you're looking for spawning bait fish. It's gonna open up some opportunities, have some incredible fishing.